back to my channel or if you're new here then hello my name is Kate. Today's video is all about the autumn capsule wardrobe, how to build it, how to style it and what you need to make one. I'm sure lots of you will already know what a capsule wardrobe is but just to recap it's basically the key core items of your wardrobe which you can mix and match it's super interchangeable and you can create so many outfits with less items this is something i have really based my wardrobe around since i was 16. you can either have just your capsule wardrobe alone or you can have your capsule wardrobe alongside more kind of trending pieces or more seasonal pieces pieces that aren't every day and that's what i tend to do but as long as i know i have these pieces in my wardrobe i feel like i'm always covered i've always got an outfit there that i'm gonna like i try to do these videos every season so if you want to see some previous ones i'll have them linked down below and let's get into the video first up we have my most worn item a classic black high neck jumper i've had this for so so long this is actually from primark and Honestly, I've mentioned this so many times on my channel before. I don't know if they sell these exact ones anymore. I, I don't know when I got this. I think I might have been like 18, maybe even younger. And they just fit so well, as you can see. Like they really come in and they're really flattering. They go under any outfit. And despite this probably being about five pounds, I would recommend spending a little bit more on your capsule wardrobe because personally, I get these items out year on year. Some of these items are autumn, winter, but also some of them I wear in the summer. Like like the blazers um, the shirts that kind of thing so having something that is going to last is so important this one just so happened to last really well despite it being five pounds and then the exact same but in cream this one is from mango it's a lovely fine knit and these just make the most perfect foundations for any outfit pop on a blazer over the top pop on a coat over the top and even without them they just look very chic i think because they're quite tight and well fitting if it's still a little bit warm for a fine knit just switch this out for something in a lighter material like a cotton or like a thin jersey and it'll have the same kind of effect next up a classic white shirt these are perfect for autumnal layering and layering outfits is one of my favorite things i just think it makes very simple items look so much more interesting so you can put this under a cozy knit pop out the collar have a little bit um, hanging out on the bottom pop out the cuffs as well. You can pop this under a blazer, wear it over a skirt, have the buttons like quite undone. You can pair it with a cardigan. Lots of different ways to wear a white shirt. And the best thing is as well, these aren't just for autumn. You can wear these in the summer, winter, spring. It's very much an all year round wardrobe essential. I get my white shirts from New Look. I just really love the way they wash. I love the way they look. They're not too structured, but they're not too flimsy either. They just kind of have that perfect balance. I particularly like this one because the sleeves are quite big and exaggerated, which I just think is always a little bit more like fashionable, I guess, rather than looking like a shirt you could wear to work. I mean, you can definitely wear this to work, but I mean more of like a kind of corporate shirt. Do you know what I'm trying to say? But yeah, day to day, these shirts are brilliant. I do size up in them to a 10, just because I like that oversized kind of casual look paired with something maybe a little bit more tight, like a little skirt. Next up, a big oversized cable knit jumper. I love these so much. They're one of my favorite pieces in autumn, winter because they feel so cozy. It's like wearing a big hug. And yeah, this one's gorgeous actually. I picked this one up especially for the video because I always wear the same one year on year and I'm sure you guys are probably bored of it. Personally, I'm not bored of it. And if I wasn't in this job, I would be happy with it. But I think it's quite important to keep things fresh and obviously be able to try things on and link things for you guys that are current. This one is Mango. I have this link down below. I wear this in a size medium because I like... Is it a medium? Yes, medium. Because I like it to be like oversized. And this one has really long sleeves as well, which is so nice because it just bunches up or you can wear them like over your hands. It just adds to that coziness. One of my favourite easy looks is actually... These with leather leggings and trainers or like these with boots. You can also, could I wear this as a dress? I could definitely wear this as a dress, it's quite long. So this with like some knee high boots. Also got a really lovely more cropped one with a high neck in my new look edit, it's in black. But I would say if you were to choose between cream and black, probably go for the cream because it shows up more of the detailing. The next chunky oversized knit is a slightly more like looser baggier fitting one. It's got a very wide neckline and these huge sleeves, I love how big they are at the cuffs. 
Um, it's very kind of slouchy and this one is from H&M. I feel like loads of people got this one this year. I did also pick it up in cream as well because I just love my oversized knits, as you guys know. So this is made out of a mohair. So at first it might feel a bit scratchy, but the good thing about mohair is one, it lasts so well and two, it softens over time. And it's the kind of thing that, yeah, it gets better with age. I feel like H&M have their knitwear very fairly priced considering how good the quality is. I've never had a H&M knit fail on me. They last me so long. And yeah, I'd really recommend them. Another place that's great for knits is Arquette. I find them with H&M and the quality, they might be a little bit more expensive, but again, really nice quality material fit that will last you year on year on year. And for size reference, I wear this one in a medium. Next up, we have a stripy knit jumper. This one is from H&M or Mango from H&M. Stripes are one of those things that kind of go in and out trend wise but they are always in fashion like they're never going to be uncool. But this year they're definitely everywhere and I really love this one. It's a more of a fine knit rather than it being really thick and chunky like the um like the cable knit and the mohair I just showed you. So this is probably more suited to layering in the autumn. I wouldn't want to layer one of the chunkier knits because you would just be too hot. Um, this is also really nice as well for like draping over your shoulders. Like a cute outfit could be a white shirt, this draped over your shoulders, cute little black mini skirt and some boots. I just think that's very, very Parisian, very autumnal. And you wouldn't be able to do that with a thicker knit. You definitely need like a fine knit like this to do that with. But yeah, this one's just super cute. It's a nice off-white color. It's super soft and I always think that stripes and also houndstooth are the two best patterns to go for in autumn because they're timeless, they're not gonna go out of fashion and they just fit in with the season so well. Next up are two new items that I have in my wardrobe. Um, I don't know if it's a trend. No, these aren't a trend. These have been around for ages. But back in August, I saw this kind of like cropped cardigan and this cropped cardigan, one from Zara, one from Mango in store. And I was like, I really want to buy them. So I bought them and I really love them. And now I'm like, these are such a great essential in, your, I mean, they're not an essential, but they're a great, addition to a capsule wardrobe. Starting off with this Zara one, um, this one is a slightly thicker, this is more of like, it's verging on a jacket, whereas this one's like a cardigan. It's got a lovely boucle material. I've said this before, but gold buttons for me are hit or miss. They can either make something look very expensive or do the complete opposite. And it actually really works with this one here in particular. And what I really like about these kind of cardigans is they're a good alternative to blazers. And blazers are normally like my go-to, unless I'm wearing a trench, they're what I wear in the autumn because I don't want to wear a coat just yet. And sometimes that can get a bit repetitive. So I think these are actually a very good option instead. And as you can see, the one I'm wearing now is a bit more flimsy, so more like a cardigan. But yeah, I think one in black, one in white, or even just one in one color will definitely keep you covered. I just think they look very elegant. I think you have to be careful what you wear with them because sometimes they converge on slightly granny. So when I wear these, I make sure to pair it with something maybe a little bit more young, such as shorts or maybe some high heeled boots or something, just to keep it not looking too vintagey. Now on to blazers. So I've stripped it down to just black and camel. This one is from Zara and I have to say I really do love the Zara blazers because they have that real good balance of oversized and boxy but still kind of feminine at the same time. They do these ones in so many different colours. I have this one in khaki as well. It's a double breasted collar. You've got two pockets as well. You always know a blazer is, there's something in the pocket, <laughs> a very mushed up packet of Mentos. And at the back, Oh, it doesn't actually have a, um, what's it called, a split up the back. I do sometimes like it when they do because I think it adds something extra to the blazer. Um, and also, if you do have a split, remember to cut the cut the stitch. The amount of times I'm walking around London and I see people with their stitches still done up on the back of their blazers, I always just want to like snip it for them. But yeah, I would really recommend these ones. These ones are lovely. And then onto the camel one. This one is a really old one from Topshop. But Mango have one that is identical. I recently bought it for this video just to try it on for you guys. But I actually bought the wrong size. I bought a size small and for it to be boxy and oversized, I think I would have had to go up to like maybe a large. So I'm gonna show you guys this one instead. It is exactly the same though, so I'll have it linked down below. But yeah, it's really nice. Similar shape to the Zara one. You've got a little pocket here 
two pockets here and then you've got a nice kind of button detailing on the sleeve and then it does have the slit up the back that I was talking about before. I always like my blazers to have a bit of padding and structure on the shoulder. I just really like that slightly more angular look with blazers, especially for somebody like me. I don't have very broad shoulders and it just looks very kind of high fashion when you have like the more angular shoulders in my opinion. This camel colour is perfect for autumn. I really love wearing like all of those browns and soft neutrals in the autumn because it just it makes my heart happy. There are literally endless ways to style a camel blazer or a black blazer so I won't go into all of them but in a nutshell you can throw this over most outfits and it will work really well. For example the cream roll neck we had earlier that looks lovely under here. This as an all black outfit and then this can be like a pop of I wouldn't say colour but you know like a pop of brightness. This of a skirt, I'll pop on some pictures on the screen of how I've styled camel blazers over the years so you get some inspo. I also wanted to include this blazer dress from my new look edit. I love the quality of this. It's got a really nice, thick, textured material. It's this gorgeous houndstooth with black, white, and this kind of cream color as well. And what's so amazing about this, I've spoken about it in my last video, but you can wear this as a blazer, you can wear this as a coat because it is a bit thicker, and you can also wear this as a dress. I wear this in a size 12. We only had a size 12 sample on the shoot, but to be honest, if I was to choose, I'd probably go for like an eight maybe, um, as it does come quite oversized already. And I think an eight would still cover you as a dress. But yeah, this with like a black roll neck underneath, maybe a little black skirt, knee high boots or something would look so nice. One tip for blazer dresses, is I would avoid wearing trainers or anything low top with them. I just think it looks very unbalanced and top heavy. So always go for something high up the leg and kind of a little bit chunky as well to ground the outfit. So I recommend either knee high boots or chunky ankle boots. Something like that will work a lot better. And if you are short like I am, then try go for something with a heel because sometimes blazer dresses can drown you a little bit. But yeah, this is definitely one of my new favorite pieces in my wardrobe and when we had my new look brunch to celebrate the edit i think three of the girls turned up in this and they all looked so amazing moving on to the bottom half first up we have a black mini skirt i love this one i think mango still sell this as well it's like a very textured material so it feels quite structured but still fits really well it's got a little zip up the side it's just very simple but effective. One of my favorite things about autumn is you can still have your legs out and not be really cold. So these are perfect for legs out kind of looks, but also looks really nice with tights as well. And if you work in an office, depending on the vibe on dress code, this could be quite nice for work. You could pair it with some tights, some boots, a high neck black roll neck, and give you that like really like kind of sleek girl boss vibe. But yeah, like I said, this one's mango and I wear this in a extra, extra small. Next up, another piece from my new look edit. You guys have seen me wear these so many times, but they are such a great pair of leather shorts. I love them because they have belt loops, so you're able to really cinch them in at your waist. It actually does come with a leather tie belt, but personally, I just prefer to wear a gold buckle belt. It draws the attention in and it just makes it feel a bit more premium. But yeah, these are a lovely soft leather. They're not long, they're not short. These are just perfect. So very comfortable as well. And personally, I would not pair tights with this, would I? No, I wouldn't. I would only wear this with bare legs. So these are definitely more suited to kind of like early autumn and not so much towards winter. But I bring this pair out every year. I love them so much. And what's nice about leather as well is I think when you dress quite simple and plain like I do, having any sort of texture just works really well in bringing the outfit to life a little bit. Going on from that, I also wear my leather leggings and my leather mum jeans a lot. So I'm currently wearing, not that you can see, but I'll put on a try and clip. I always look forward to this season because I know I can bring these out again as they're definitely not something you'd wear in the summer for sure because they're quite like warm which is something i actually really like about them because they keep me very cozy when it's colder again they have the belt loop so you can customize it with your own belt and yeah i just really love wearing these i think they look very chic they look very kind of they look quite cool i think as well pairing something quite cool with something a little bit more classic like this cardigan always works really well and then one more leather item to show you the leather leggings these are probably my most worn trousers in the winter these ones are again from my edit 
These are very stretchy, nice waistband, similar, well, I think the same material as the previous two I showed you. There's a front seam going down, making them look a little bit more like trousers and less like tights, which I really like. I've had these for years. I love them so much. They wear really well and there's nothing they don't go with. I think any outfit on this rail would look so nice with them. And I know that people are saying that skinny jeans are out, but these aren't skinny jeans, so I think we can get away with them. Next up, a pair of classic mum jeans. These ones are from Everlane. I love Everlane denim I just think the fit and the quality is insane as you can tell I don't wear color it's just it's not for me I'll wear the very occasional pop of color but day to day I feel very happy in my neutral zone so this is about as colorful as I get but to be honest I think jeans and denim are a really nice way to inject a bit of color into your wardrobe and although these aren't worn say as much as my leather mum trousers I do still reach for these quite a lot I think the combination of blue and camel or blue and neutrals is so beautiful I really love it together so I definitely wanted to include these and I wear these in a 24 crop okay future Kate here just injecting in I filmed all the cutaways for the video and I felt like I was really missing something and I realized it was tailored trousers and to be fair for me tailored trousers are a all year round thing rather than just an autumn thing but I wanted to include them anyway. I've got this pair here from Arquette. They are just a really nice tapered tailored trouser. Sometimes with wide leg trousers, I love them in the summer, but in the winter sometimes, I don't know, I feel like I can get a bit overwhelmed by them if I'm wearing like a big coat as well and a blazer. Um, so tapered is kind of more the way to go, I think. These are obviously great for things like if you work in an office, but also even for like casual days, I actually really like wearing tailored trousers because you can pair them with some trainers a cozy knit and just kind of like casual it up a little bit if that makes sense so yeah i think a nice black pair and a nice off-white pair as well my favorite pair of off-white tailor trousers are currently somewhere in france i left them there and i need to reorder them but i'll have them linked down below they are from reese and i absolutely love them very similar shape to this they've got the belt loop so yeah anyway back to the video next up your classic trench coat something i think will be in fashion until the end of time so i really wanted to invest in a good one i got this one for half price at the bister village outlet from burberry and i absolutely love it it's oversized this one is the westminster version I wasn't sure if I should go for like a more oversized look or kind of a more tailored um, structured look I'm really happy I went for this one in the end although I think both are beautiful I just find that I'm more of a day-to-day -day, everyday dresser rather than like a super smart dresser so I think this was perfect for me and I've had so much wear out of this since I bought it last Christmas and I just absolutely love it however there are so many high street alternatives I've actually done a trench coat edit so I'll have that linked down below and there's a big range of prices from kind of the lower high street like more mid end higher so there's lots of options there but yeah this is one of probably I'd say this is probably in my top three most favorite pieces in my wardrobe now onto shoes and accessories starting off with a very simple white trainer these are brand new actually I bought these from Axe so Arigato, I think that's how you say it. I just wanted a pair of very simple, easy, everyday white trainers. And I really like these because they are a leather, so they're white clean. A lot of you guys actually recommended these to me, so I thought I'd pick them up. I'm actually very boring when it comes to trainers. I like to keep them very simple and white, pretty much. Um, I love the look of things like New Balances, Jordans. I think they're really cool, but I don't know, I just don't think they suit me. Maybe they would, I don't know. But I just like to keep it easy. It's literally all plain white, and then you've just got the little logo just here. Next up, some black loafers. These ones are the Gucci mules, and I remember when I bought these, I was like, oh, it's a lot of money. But honestly, money well spent. I have worn these to death since I've had them. I wear these mostly in the autumn and the spring. They're probably a little bit too cold for the winter. So yeah, definitely worth investing in. Something I always spend more money on are shoes and bags because they're something I wear every single day. Shoes, it's more of a comfort thing, I guess, and bags, it's more of like, I just love bags, as you guys know. But yeah, I'll have these ones linked and some similar alternatives down below as well. But I can say these are incredibly comfortable and you can wear these all day long. I feel like a broken record talking about these shoes, so I'll keep it short and sweet. But these are my favorite knee-high boots from New Look. And I just love the way they make outfits look. They just make them look a little bit more 
interesting i guess because there's like different heights going on they really elongate your leg and they're just so comfortable as well and then the final pair of shoes are some heeled ankle boots these are a very old pair but there are lots of similar ones online i'll have them all linked below as always and one thing i would say is make sure you look out for how high this is because sometimes when they're just a bit too low i think they can look kind of dated and the higher it goes up your calf the more i mean i find it kind of elongates your legs it's very flattering and it just looks a little bit more modern this one has a square toe and my favorite types of toe god that sounds so weird but my favorite types of toe are either squared like this or pointed and then bag wise definitely have one black and one beige my two bags are obviously chanel but you don't need chanel bags to make the outfits just any neutral and black bag will be absolutely fine black obviously goes with most things but when i'm wearing anything lighter with no black accessories i think the beige works really well as it keeps everything quite light and it doesn't weigh down the outfit and then finally a gold buckle belt one of my favorite belts is the Celine Triumph. I have the size medium in 70. I bought this around a year ago and I'm obsessed. I wear it all the time. I think it looks so chic. It really elevates outfits. But again, your belt does not need to be designer. I just have a preference for designer accessories. Any gold buckle belt will look amazing. I'll link this one down below along with some other alternatives that I really like. So that brings us to the end of my autumn capsule wardrobe video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If any of you have any recommendations for like your go-to to autumn winter wardrobe essential let us know down below in the comments make sure you subscribe and like the video and also follow me on instagram for some more outfit inspiration i love you guys so so much and i will see you in my next video bye